The same strategies I'm using to digitally crash the 27th annual Kuna Marketing and Business Development Council Conference, that's a mouthful, are the same strategies I use to help my credit union client generate 535 completed home loan applications for $103.88 each in 19 months off from Facebook. The best marketing experts may not be speaking on stage between March 15th and March 18th, which is why I'm digitally crashing this conference without paying sponsorship or booth fees. Around April 2018, a board told a VP of lending, which is my client, we want you to increase your production by 40% in the next 12 months. Prior to my client hiring me in August 2018, only 0.59% of credit union members were getting a mortgage loan through my client. Unfortunately, prior to us working together, my client's relationship with the credit union's internal marketing team was dysfunctional. Luckily, a mutual friend introduced the two of us. In five short months before the new year, member applications grew by 35.5%, which is a $200,000 profit line growth. And in 2019, we surpassed a 40% volume increase as the board directed by August 2019. What I realized is that although consumer behaviors had changed, credit unions and banks as an industry have not changed their primitive marketing and advertising strategies by relying heavily on traditional forms of advertising like television, radio, billboard, newspapers, direct mail, bus wraps, etc. This has created a brief window where credit unions can dominate the digital space when it comes to advertising their services before the competition catches on. And that's why I think you should take me up on one or all of the three options above this video. Option one, review a case study where I share the exact step-by-step -step strategies I use to help my credit union client increase his production by 40% in eight of the 12 months the board gave him. Option two, schedule a no obligation discovery call with me. You'll share some of your marketing challenges and I will share my digital footprint strategy that can solve those problems. Option three, do nothing at all. Since you watch more than 25% of this video, I can automatically put an ad in front of you based on how you engage with this video. So listen. You invested between one to $3,000 for an opportunity to learn successful digital strategies for your credit union at the Kuna Marketing and Business Development Council Conference. However, some of the greatest minds producing the results you deserve may not be on stage in the next four days, which is why I decided to digitally crash this conference. Are you frustrated with losing prospects and members to bigger banks? Are you frustrated with not being able to attract younger members? Are you frustrated with not being able to keep up with the digital transformation wave or are you frustrated that you have a small team with limited resources? Do you want to be labeled a legacy leader that couldn't adapt to change? Imagine your CEO or your board telling you they're moving in a different direction because of the above reasons. Imagine having that conversation with your significant other. Can you afford to start somewhere else? Would you be able to cope with that uncertainty? I stumbled into the credit union industry by accident, but I'm here to stay. My friend Pamela connected me with one of their clients who needed to generate traffic online for their credit union. Our instant success led us to the three of us being on stage at Pamela's company's annual event in 2019. On March 11, 2020, I was scheduled to fly 2,577 miles to my client's headquarters to meet the CEO and CFO. They have a strong need organizationally for the services I'm providing the lending department, which could lead to more overall business for both my client and my agency. Unfortunately, that trip was postponed due to the spread of the coronavirus in the state of Washington. I'll wrap up this video by quickly sharing my digital footprint methodology, which is the foundation behind our paid advertising strategy. When a consumer is in the market for a credit union services, they start doing research online. Their online activity leaves a digital footprint that allows us to put an ad in front of them. When they engage with your ad, they're raising their hand and saying that they're in the market for your services. As a result, we continue that conversation through several online platforms by subtly and seamlessly moving them through the buying decision. This methodology is a cost-effective advertising strategy that allows us to only focus on prospects that are engaging with your advertising while ignoring everyone else. The analogy I like to use is, imagine you're standing on the 5th yard line of the Super Bowl and you know that everyone wearing a red shirt that day is in the market for your services. How much would you be able to save by ignoring everyone that is not wearing a red shirt and how much more efficient would your advertising budget be if you simply engage with prospects in the market for your services? Unlike traditional forms of advertising through radio, billboards, television, bus wraps, direct mail, newspaper, etc., you can actually attribute a conversion all the way to a specific ad creative. As a result, you are able to know which campaigns are producing the best results, allowing you to allocate your budget to the most profitable campaigns. It's time to take me up on one or all three of the options above this video by simply clicking the links. See you on the other side. Oh, by the way, I emailed and messaged Jim Nussel on LinkedIn between February 16th and 18th. 
I told him that I would be digitally crashing his conference and many others this year. I also shared a detailed video showing him exactly how I would do it. Feel free to ask him about it.